Alright guys, welcome back to another team review. This time I'm coming at you with the Green Bay Packers. First up, Aaron Rodgers, 98 overall. Just like Mr. Manning here, but look at Aaron Rodgers, has a little bit more speed. 80 speed. Definitely more of my type of quarterback as I like to scramble. But, 83 agility, 85 acceleration, 93 awareness. All pretty solid stats, if you ask me. But, here's what you want. Throw power, 94. 92 short accuracy, 88 medium accuracy. Deep accuracy is 90, so that is all amazing. He can pretty much hit receivers anywhere. Now, Peyton Manning's, these two stats were higher, but his deep accuracy is great. Aaron Rodgers, 80 throw in the run. Play action is not as high as Peyton Manning, but he's just as good of a quarterback, depending on what you want to do. You'll probably succeed with both of them, because they are great. Running back, Eddie Lacy, rookie last year, Enum. Now look at him. 88 speed solid 81 strength 80 agility. he's just an overall beast running back shucking is high elusiveness is eh, not a solid but he's not really elusive he's my type of running back if you ask me look at that stiff arm 90 spin move 97 it's the jukes all right he's carrying he's not going to fumble that much he's catching on the backfield is not as high as you really want but he's going to do what you want to do when you want to run and run up the middle you can run on the outside you can pretty much run in any run you want the fullback actually coon 93 overall great fullback you can hand it to him he can block for you you can do everything you want. You want him on the field. Wide receivers. Now, they have a, they've had Greg Jennings, but this year, Jordy Nelson and Randall Cobb. Actually, Jarrett Boykin's pretty solid, but these two are the guys you want to watch. Cobb got hurt last year. He's going to have a breakout year. Jordy Nelson's going to have a huge year in fantasy. Both of them are going to be great players for you in Madden. They're not strong, but they're definitely fast. You know, Cobb has a lot more agility. He's more quick. You can actually put him in the slot, but Boykin can probably play in the slot as well. It's not going to truck anyone, but... <laughs> Like, spin move, you know, Cobb's a little bit better. Catching their guys both would be great. Route running solid. Catch a child is amazing. Spectacular catch. Man, beat the press. Jordan Nelson definitely beat the press. Jumping is good and stuff like that. So they're both great receivers and not as good as targets as some of the other teams I reviewed, like the Denver Broncos, but great, great, great players with both of them. Tight end, you know, they they lost your Michael Finley, so now they have Andrew Corliss, you know, Ryan Taylor, Brandon Bostick. They're not great tight ends, but maybe Corliss could have a big year with... Um, Aaron Rodgers throwing to him full time. Now, I mean, his 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 catching is all right. His route running is not great. You know, you might not want to throw the tight end as much as other teams because you can just give it to Cobb and you can give it to Jordan Nelson. Offensive line, this is where the Packers struggle. Aaron Rodgers could get sacked a lot. You know, they have David Bakhtiari, which 76 overall is not the greatest thing at left tackle when you be opposing, you know, D lines. If you do, you know, go as a right end, like DeMarcus Ware could be coming after you and DeMarcus Ware versus. This guy, you know, DeMarcus Ware is going to win every single time. Left guard, Jason said 97 overall. This is where they start to make up for it. 97 overall, like 93 strength. Like, he will get the job done for you at left guard. Hopefully, he'll make up for your terrible, you know, left tackle. But, you know, great run block, great pass block, great impact blocking. He's great. Center, JC Treadwell. You know, this is this is the problem with, you know, the Packers offense. You go from not a great offensive lineman to a stud to not a great offensive lineman. So, maybe, you know, Josh Sitton will look like he'll struggle because he has two guys who are letting guys in all the time. Right guard, TJ Lang. Same pattern. Guards are great. Need a new center. Need a new left tackle for sure. But TJ Lang, 87 overall. Great player. Brian Beluga, 86 overall. So you have three of the five line, which is generally good in Madden. You know, they'll stop most opposing rushers, but the two weak spots could be concerning online. If you play in a career mode, you could actually upgrade it if you really want to. They play actually, they, uh, Packers play a 3-4, so they're going to have, you know, one defensive tackle and an extra middle linebacker. So we'll start with the left end, Mike Neal, 82 overall, solid, solid, solid player. You know, it's pretty strong. It's more what a 3-4 end is supposed to be. This is supposed to be strong, kind of like run blockers, hold up blocks so your outside linebackers can get in blitz for you. So he'll, he'll probably be more like a power blocking type player. You won't get too many sacks with him, but you can hopefully, hopefully take away um, some blockers for your other guys that will be blitzing. You know, the right end might get on 75. It means he's not as strong, so he's not as good of a player, but it's okay because you'll just, you know, you got the deal. You don't need good ends in the 3-4 system. Defensive tackle, BJ Roger, 83 overall. You know, great player, 94 strength. He's just sit in the middle and block people. And uh, not block people, like take up blocks for, you know, stuff the run, get your linebackers in positions and make tackles because that is what the defensive tackle is supposed to do in a 3-4. Yeah, power moves high. Hit power is not as high as you like. But block shedding is 82 good. So he's there. He'll do what he wants to do. Let's, Julius Peppers, new player, new system. Got him from the Bears. He's playing outside linebacker now instead of playing defensive. And, you know, Nick Perry is a first-round draft pick last year. We'll see how he do he does. 
But Julius Peppers is the guy you want to look at here. You know, 83 speed, 83 strength. He has good agility. He has good acceleration, all that stuff to get around blockers. Hopefully, he'll come free because you have your defensive end taking a block. So most of the time, he always blitz another linebacker to make up. So you have four linemen in theory. So he has 88 hit power. You know, his power is not as good, but finesse moves 86 overall. He'll go right around those guys. Great behind the end. Now, your middle linebackers, you have two starters. So A.J. Hawk and Brad Jones will both be starting for you. So you need to make sure you look at both of their stats. You know, speed's all right. Strength, all right as well. I mean, they used to have Nick Barnett, who's a pretty good linebacker on the Bills now. Acceleration's fine. You know, they have good overall stats. But you're going to want to look at, obviously, like their tackling stats, which is, you know, they're good above 80. Hit power is solid. You know, pursuit is good for both of them. Player recognition is actually pretty high, which is good. They're weaker. At, they're better at zone than man coverage, but it'll be what you guys want to play. This is where the stud is. Clay Matthews, <clears throat> 90 overall right outside linebacker, 84 speed, 81 strength, 83 agility, you know, 92 acceleration. He can get the job done. You know, he's fast and strong, which is horrifying for opponents. You know, 84 tackling, 95 hit power. Look at those power moves, 94. Not as much as finesse. You have finesse and Julius Peppers. You have power and Clay Matthews. So you can do whatever side you want to come after these quarterbacks. 94 pursuit, 85 play recognition. He's good. He, He's not, not bad in coverage either, so you just got to do what you got to do. Corners. Look at these corners. You have Tremont Williams, 87 overall. Sam Shields, 86 overall. Casey Hayward, 85 overall. That is just amazing for you. You know, and two guys are super young. 31's not too old. Look at Sam Shields' speed, 87 speed. They have great speed, great acceleration, great awareness. You know, they're going to do great things for you in your secondary. You can pretty much, you can man up against the Denver Broncos with the Green Bay Packers secondary. That is how good these corners are. You know, tackling, they're not great. Corners never tackle that great. But, you know, look at this. Oh. Player condition is pretty high. Man coverage and zone coverage. All three of these guys can play whatever system you want. You can play man. You can play zone. I wouldn't press as much, but these three guys will be all over opposing teams' wide receivers. Free safety, area need. They drafted HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, one of the best names in the game. As a first-round pick, he could go up this year depending on how good of a year he has. 79 overall is not a bad place to start. You know, it's good speed, good acceleration. You know, I want to more see his um, secondary stats, which will probably be pretty good for his zone. Yeah, 84 zone, 74 man coverage. So he can pretty much do whatever you want. He's a very good young free safety. Morgan Burnett, 83 overall. Packer secondary is stacked, as I said. You know, the best secondary in the game because of the Seattle Seahawks and their safeties. But corner-wise, they're up there top in the league now morgan burnett he can do mostly man and zone man's lower so you want to put him in the zone the bad thing is strong safeties can guard tight ends a lot he might not be the best person to do it but that's what something you're gonna have to deal with kicker crosby 82 has huge leg accuracy is inconsistent punter whatever just a punter kick returner now what do you want to do here they have mike hyde you know 90 overall but you can look down here you have randall cobb and you have tremont williams you know i'd probably throw cobb up there 96 overall, stud. Punter, same thing. i probably throw Tremont Williams, because why not? It's good to mix it up, especially if injuries are off. If injuries are off, then you want to put whatever you want as your kick returner and punt returner. If injuries are on, then you might be more careful, because you don't want Tremont Williams getting hurt on a punt return when he's your stud corner. Kickoff starter, Crosby clearly is the guy you want to put there. Long snapper, like I said, you don't want to mess up that at all. Third down running back. They have Starks there. I just like to put my stud, Eddie Lacy. He's good. You can get it done. So overall, Packers are a great team. Obviously in real life and obviously in Madden. They have the weapons on offense. They have Aaron Rodgers. Their offensive line, three out of the five starters are good. And on defense, you know, the D-line's all right. Linebackers is solid, but they have Peppers and Matthews, and their secondary is phenomenal. So this team, like I said, matches up pretty well like the Denver Broncos because they have a good offense and a good defense. They don't have a weakness pretty much anywhere. You know, they might get ran on more. If I was going against the Green Bay Packers, I would run. But that's just something you're going to have to deal with. But besides that, they're a great team. I fully recommend them, and you guys will love using them. All right, guys, like I said earlier, leave a comment below what other teams you want me to do, and I'll get on that as soon as possible. Thanks. See you guys next time.